Tech here, back with another video. Today, I'm going to be showing you, like, let's say your Linux terminal is not opening, like mine. If I go to my terminal, it will go ahead and load up like usual, but then it won't say Penguin, and then I could just type random things, and then I can just scroll down, and then it doesn't, you can't even do commands or anything. Well, I am have a fix for that for you guys today. So, you on my OBS video, you guys down here, you guys were all like, well, the um, the terminal was not working. You're uploading. I'm like, no. And then, yes, it is. I opened it. I'm like, oh, it's not working. And then I'm like, oh, I, I found a fix earlier, so I'm going to share it with you guys today. So, let's get right into the video. So, first, you want to go up here. You want to click settings. You want to go... And then go to your settings. There's Linux beta. You go down there, you click this, and you re remove Linux from Chromebook right there. Click remove, click delete, and it's going ahead to delete Linux off your Chromebook, which delete all your Linux apps and just, and all your stuff. So yeah, and then once Linux is turned off, all your apps are gone and everything. But once you want you know, after it's turned off, you install it again. And this will go ahead and install Linux back on your Chromebook again. Since this will take a while, I'll be back when it's fully downloaded. All right, guys. So once Linux is fully downloaded, you see it has fully downloaded. The Linux terminal is working again. So what you want to do, once the Linux terminal is downloaded, you want to do sudo apt update. And this is going to head and get updates for your Linux. So it's all up to date. So everything works perfectly. This shouldn't take too long. It should take about 30 seconds or more but since i just installed linux it'll take a little bit because it needs all the updates to keep safe get all like the newest updates for the apps you're installing so yeah it is now it is fully updated so you can do whatever you want you can reinstall your linux apps and